the benefit and actually the beauty of having a public failure, at least for me, it took away any fear of failure. Because you fast forward 10 years later and I'm stronger as a person, I've already failed publicly, I lived through it, it was horrible at the time, and all that did was just allow me to move forward at a very fast pace and create an amazing company. The Real Real is the world's largest marketplace for authenticated luxury resale. When I was growing up, both of my parents, mostly because they're artists, really loved beautiful things. And that didn't necessarily mean beautiful new things. So my mother would go to people's homes and if they had a nice rug, she'd say, when you're ready to sell it, I'll buy it from you. And my father and I would go to the junkyard to scavenger for beautiful pieces, which he would then refurbish and, and turn into something else. At the moment in time, when I shut the company down to return money to shareholders, I was thinking about my employees and making sure they had a pay package and future jobs. And also, my husband had asked me for a divorce that day, so there was a lot going on. And I would say six months later, it really hit me that this was really bad for my career. It didn't help that every major newspaper and every tech article was written not about the company and not about the Times but also about me personally, and um, pretty, pretty horrible things. I was called the dumbest person in Silicon Valley, and so it was, it was a hard time. After Pets, even though it had a lot of um, negative press, I didn't really realize how much of it would sort of stick to me um, and how my options may be limited after that until I met with a recruiter. And he said, basically, after, he said, well, Pets.com was such a blow up, your career's over. And, you know, I wouldn't show you to any company, I wouldn't introduce you to any companies. But hearing that made me go, okay, well, what am I gonna do about it? You know, and uh, clearly, I'm not gonna be able to get my dream job from someone else, and I'm gonna have to create my own. That's exactly how it, that hit me. Not like, oh, he's wrong or he's a jerk. It was like, okay, I'm taking this as valid. How, what does that mean for me? It means that I should start my own company because I'm, other people don't believe in me right now in the Valley, it's small world, but I believe in myself, so that's my best option. With The Real Real, our biggest accomplishment is bringing awareness to the amount of fashion in landfill and the incredible benefits of buying and consigning previously owned goods. We're doing it on everything we do on our website. We're doing it on our own company. We're now carbon neutral. And even more importantly, we're working with our congressmen and multiple people in the government to help change laws, to actually increase the awareness of the importance of recirculating used goods and conscious consumption. And if we make any dent on that, given the environmental situation the world's in, I'm gonna feel like, um, I'm gonna feel pretty good about what I've done and what the company's done. I would say that you need to think of your career as a long-term investment. I would encourage you to take risks, never stop taking risks. And even when you think you're there, you're not there yet. That learning happens at every age and you're gonna have, set, you will have setbacks. You know, figure it out, don't give up. Um, this is the long game, don't play the short game. And more importantly, you have to love what you do. And you also have to be conscious of the choices you're making. So if you become an entrepreneur, and I'd love to see more female entrepreneurs, recognize that that will consume your life. So be conscious about it. Is that really the track I wanna go? Or do I wanna balance my home life with job for a while and then I can do it later? The other thing is, you know, really, the real real I started at 53, so clearly it's never too late. But I had a lot of great experience to build on. So, you know, life, life can be long. And also take care of your body and your mind. And you know, you have to eat right, you have to exercise, you have to give yourself a spiritual, spiritual nourishment. So take care of yourself along the way.